Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ciphering Weather. In today's video, we're going to continue our Hurricane Preparedness Week and go over what's going to go into our Hurricane Preparedness Kit. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So as we know, hurricanes are the one of the most destructive storms that planet Earth can wreak, especially on coastlines along the United States and in the Caribbean. We have high winds of 74 miles an hour or more with a regular hurricane, upwards of 160 if it's a Category 5. Upon landfall, they can also the outer bands can make tornadoes, cause inland flooding if the storm stalls out and has a drench over the area for days on end. And also we have rip currents as well as the storm surge itself from upon landfall. And because of this, it's recommended to evacuate when there is a hurricane approaching your home. So when you do have to evacuate, you obviously need to take items with you needed to survive while you're not at home. And that's where a hurricane preparedness kit comes in. A hurricane pre uh, preparedness kit should contain essential supplies to help you and your family stay safe and comfortable during and after a hurricane. And here are some of the items to include in your hurricane prepared kit. First off is water. Most important, you can't survive with more than three days without water. You want to have enough water, at least one gallon of water per person per day to last you three days for drinking and for sanitation. Next important tip is to have non-perishable foods. You don't want to be bringing with you foods that are going to spoil like milk and dairy products. You're going to want non-perishable foods like peanut butter, crackers, bread, uh, canned uh, fruits and vegetables, stuff that can be uh, heated very easily uh, in a microwave if you're in a shelter or if you're staying on the campgrounds with a campfire. Now, Hurricanes also cause a lot of destruction and you could have some hazards lying around and you might get injured. So you're going to want to have a first aid kit as well, which would be well stocked in any types of band-aids, uh, sutures, uh, bacteria, disinfectant, stuff like that. And you're also going to want to bring along with you your medication, especially if you're elderly uh, or if you have uh, diagnoses that need your daily medication so that way you don't have a skip a beat and you can continue living your life as normal. When you're evacuating, you're also going to need to bring with you clothes. So you're going to need a change of clothes for every day you think you're going to be gone. You're going to want to bring your pillows, your blankets, uh, maybe a sleeping bag if you're not going to be in a shelter or if you're at a shelter, you want that because you might just be on a regular cot or the floor. So a sleeping bag would be m much more comfortable than just a regular cot or sleeping on the floor itself. You're also going to want to bring your own personal hygiene items. So your toothbrush, your shampoo, toilet paper, as we all know, we've stocked up on that thanks to COVID, so you don't want to run out of that if you live in the United States, uh, and uh, other things that will keep you clean while you're evacuating from a hurricane. Now, one of the biggest things that hurricanes does is cause power outages. The high winds can take out power lines, the trees coming down on power lines, so you're going to need batteries, flashlights, and uh, if you're not evacuating, you're going to need a generator as well to power your home. But when power goes out, one of the most important things you're going to need is cold hard cash. Debit cards, credit cards, they're not going to work in an environment that doesn't have power because you're not going to be able to make those digital transactions uh, without electricity. So cold hard cash will be king when you're evacuating. Another thing you'll need is a lot of gas. 
Uh, so if you're staying in place, you're going to need gas for your generator. But if you're evacuating, you're also going to need gas for your car while you're leaving. Uh, because if the power also goes out, so does the electric pump in the gas stations. So having gas on hand will allow you to continue uh, moving on as well. And let's not forget in today's digital world, we all need our cell phones. So we're going to need some kind of hand cranked charger in order to keep our cell phones charged uh, so that way we can get the latest information if it also helps if that charger is a flashlight and a weather radio all in one uh, so that way we can have all the information we need even if there's no actual cell phone signal we can still get updates on hurricane evacuations and other important information from our government through a weather radio Last but not least, you want to take your important documents with you and, and keep them in a watertight uh, container or uh, water uh, vacuum sealed bag. Uh, so that way you don't have to worry about them getting destroyed in a flooding situation. Uh, so that way you have your important documents with you, that being your passports, your tax documents, your home title, anything that you would need in order to rebuild your house afterward if it was happened to be destroyed during the hurricane. So overall, in hurricane preparedness, to assemble your kit, you want to have your food and water, keep your gas tank full, cash on hand, your medicine and prescriptions, and then your radio, batteries, and phone chargers. Those are the most key important things. Other things that we listed there are important too, but these are the top five that you want to have in your kit when you're evacuating for a hurricane. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on Deciphering Weather, so if you'd like to donate to the channel, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed weather breakdowns, Hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.